Hey everybody, thanks so much for taking the time to help us assess our students' capstones and their performance this year in capstone. Um, super appreciative. I, w I wish we could have all you guys here in person so we could be chatting and, and all that kind of stuff, but soon, soon hopefully. Um, for now, since some of you have not evaluated our posters before, I just wanted to go through really briefly um, how we're going to be doing it, the, the tools that you'll use to assess our students' posters. So firstly, we have two formats uh, that you can use to evaluate students. One, um, the links to our uh, a shared Google Drive where you can look at the posters ahead of time. And you're more than welcome to do that. Um, and so in this case, we're just looking at uh, one of those folders and it has some posters in here. You can go ahead and look at these. You could download them to your own computer if you wanted to, to look at them more closely. You can, you can zoom in and all that exciting stuff. Um, and then, of course, on, on Monday, you guys will be able to uh, come to our virtual poster session and see the poster with the student and ask him or her questions and ask them to lead you through their poster. Probably the ideal thing, if you assume you have the time, is to look over these posters ahead of time and, and sort of look at some of the quantitative stuff that you want to look at or, or some of the uh, layout type of issues and then um, to make some notes and then maybe uh, finish off with just, uh, you know, coming on Monday and uh, touching base with the students, asking them questions, et cetera. Attached to the email that I sent out to you all, um, you'll find a PDF copy of our traditional uh, survey form that we've used for many years. Um, now, originally this was created so that we could you could do this on paper, we'd cut it off and you could have feedback for the student and then this would be feedback for, uh, for me or the instructor. Um, this is now online. So uh, we, we ask that you fill this out in a Google form version that we've already prepared for you. But it might be helpful for you to just to have these and maybe to use them to make notes, for example, as you're going through the poster. Um, our uh, assessment is broken into three broad categories. There's the content section here. There's how it was, it was mechanically presented. And then just sort of an overall takeaway, big picture type of thing. Each of these uh, elements is scored on a, or evaluated on a score of one to five. One means it sucks. Five means it's just absolutely epic. Most scores, most pro posters, if they just did a decent job, they, they met the expectation, that's about a three, right? So, um, so if everything is fine, three, and then you can go lower if needed or higher uh, if needed. Um, and so on the form, you'll be able to, to pick each of these numbers and then give some feedback. Now, most of these questions here are totally answerable beforehand. So you can look at the content of their poster, um, how they presented their conclusions, et cetera. Um, there are two questions, which are these ones in presentation, which is, did they present their work in a professional, engaging manner, and did they answer your questions well? Those two really, um, you know, require you uh, seeing them on Monday and giving some feedback, et cetera. Um, uh, so uh, hopefully everyone can make that on Monday, but if something ha happens, you get, you get stuck, you can't make it, you can at least fill out the other elements beforehand if you have some internet problems or something on Monday. Uh, and again, the, the overall three questions are just sort of taking it all together. Once you've seen the poster, once you've heard them talk, and just sort of reflecting back on the big picture. Here is that Google form. So when you click the link, you'll come to this and you'll fill one of these forms out for each student, for each poster. Um, and so again, first part is just some logistics. You're just gonna click the student's name. So all of our students are listed here. So you just scroll down to get to their last name, click it. And then here you can click your name. And so we know who it is. If for some reason, if you wanna just practice, also we have a demo test button if you just wanna run through it ahead of time to make sure it works. Similarly, we have a demo test button on the bottom. If for some reason your um, name isn't on here, if I screwed up somehow and didn't have you listed as an evaluator, you can go ahead and either type it in or just hit other reviewer one or, or, or um, as the case may be, but other is probably gonna be best and you can just fill out your name in there. Um, and then this just says, did you do this from only viewing it ahead of time? Did you view it ahead of time and during the poster session or did you just view it during the poster session? Um, that's mostly for us after the fact so we can have a sense of what's going on. And then the questions come up. So these are the exact same questions you have in that PDF form. Questions one, two, three, four, or, or the score is one, two, three, four, five. And then there's an option for you to enter some comments if you wish, you do not have to, but, but if you wanna give the students some feedback, that's cool. All of this feedback will be made available to the students after the fact, um, except for, if we scroll to the very bottom here, 
except for in the final notes here. There is one location for you to provide a summative overall feedback to the students um, on their poster, on the mechanics, uh, how they answered questions, whatever. But then there's also a little uh, option right down here where you will provide feedback only to the instructors. So this, this, any feedback in this box will not be communicated to them. This is where you can communicate um, anything that, that you were concerned about but didn't feel comfortable sharing with the student, something of that nature um, is great. And then you just hit uh, done and you're good. And then you can uh, fill out another one for the next student. So hopefully this is really straightforward. Hopefully this is really simple. And uh, really looking forward to uh, getting your feedback. Now, I will be. You guys will all have a list of of your targeted posters. We we would like you to start with those targeted posters. If if you can do more, that would be great. But but um, if you could at least hopefully get through your targeted groups, that would be great. All of the uh, poster um, folks are in a group except for one person who had actually started her capstone before the pandemic. So she'd already been going on her own individual project. So we do have one project looking at snails. All the other ones have um, at least three people in their group. Thanks again for helping us out. Can't wait to talk to you all. Can't wait to see you all on Monday. And thanks again for really um, helping us provide that essential feedback and independent evaluation of our students in capstone. You guys stay safe. Wash your hands. Talk to you soon.